Hi, um, my name is Maya and today I want to uh, show you how to make a chat book or a booklet that you can use with your students um, or if you want to make a chat book of poetry, a quick anthology. This, this is the kind of quickie publication that isn't difficult to do but when I looked on the internet there were no instructions on how to make a chapbook or multiple page fold over booklet using Word for Windows 8. So here's what I did. Uh, my booklet, this, this one comes out as four pages, okay, and um, they're just a couple of tricks to make it work. So the first thing is when you go to page layout, you expand that and where it says margins under multiple pages you choose book fold and that's going to give you this preview box here that looks like a book and it switches to landscape you can adjust the gutter which is the space between the pages and if you look at my preview down here as my gutter size goes up and down, I have more or less space where I can put my staples. Okay, I've left the top, inside, bottom, and outside margins at uh, 2.5 or 2 point, which is approximately an inch. But you can adjust that to whatever setting you want. For paper, I'm using letter size. You can also use legal. It's up to you. And uh, it's important to choose for the layout different odd and even pages so that you can put the page numbers to the left or the right depending on whether it's an odd page or an even page. I'll show you that. And you want a different first page so you don't end up with a page number on the cover. Okay, so that's what that looks like now. And I have page numbers on here. When you go into the header or footer, different first page, different odd and even pages, and the evens are going to be on the left, and the odds are going to be on the right. Okay, so it will ask you for the even page footer, and you you could decide how you want that to look. You can have it centered. Um, although that will look funny. Once you think you have what you would like, um, you could go to File and save the version you have. And then I like to go to Print just to get a preview of what I'm going to see. Make sure you've chosen your printer. Now my printer will automatically print on both sides. So I'm going to choose print on both sides, flip on the short edge. On my printer, if you don't flip on the short edge, some of your pages wind up upside down. Okay, let's do a quick flip through to see whether this is what we want. No page number on the cover even numbers on the left, odd numbers on the right. When I print that out, it should look good. Okay, let's look at another example. This one's a little longer and a little more complicated. I actually made a poetry chat book and uh, I wanted to have a nice blank page right inside the cover and start my contents on the right hand side. Let's see what that one looks like when it's printed out. So for this one I did my cover. I inserted a blank page. I inserted an automatic table of contents and then there are my poems. I've I've uh, 
used wingdings because I don't think you want to read my poems at the moment. Okay, so now something important about the page breaks. When you, when you put in a page break and you don't want to have your page numbers, there's a different way of doing it. So instead of just going insert page break, you go to page layout, you choose breaks, and you choose next page, which will insert a section break and start the new section on the next page. And that's so you won't end up with page number on your contents page. Let's look at how to generate an automatic table. So I go to References, I go to Table of Contents, and I can choose an automatic table. By clicking on that, it will, it will automatically put in a table of contents, which I can edit. I, instead of calling it Contents, I can call it Poems, for example. I can uh, change what my heading looks like if I want to. I can change the size. Okay. But in order for it to be an automatically generated table, I have to have chosen this as heading. Okay. Now, once I've chosen it as a heading, I don't have to use their format. I can center it again. I can make, take, make my text black again. I can make it bold, whatever I like. But as long as I've chosen it as a heading, let's say this poem isn't called Follow, Fallow God. Let's say it's called Fallow Field. Okay. Now, when I go back to my contents page, I can update my table so that instead of follow God, I'm going to update the entire entry and now it's called follow field. So this is a very handy thing to have and if later you're going to export to an ebook, if you format with the automatic tables and the headings, um, when, if and when you make an ebook later, it will generate hot links within your document. But that's another topic for another day. So I hope, I hope uh, you found this a useful tutorial. You may have to play around with your printer settings depending on whether you have automatic double siding or not. But if you don't, set it to print all pages, print on both sides manually, and you should be able to get the same effect of, of double printing. Okay, and there's your text. Alright, th thanks for watching.